Hey everybody, it's Christine Bertram and I'm coming to you live from the Hive on a Friday. It's uh, the 23rd of December. It's the Christmas Eve Eve, maybe, I guess we could say. Hi, Sandy Wicklander. She was here bright and early with me. I got the camera all set up and I realized that my computer was in the house, so I had to run to the house and add the cover photo and add some stuff to the actual event or like the vibe that we're doing and then Tyler's still there so he caught me so it took me a little bit to get back out here you guys but I'm here and what we're going to work on today for maybe about an hour is um what is to show you what's coming up for January and there's a lot of stuff if you look back here I should have went the other way but that's all the stuff that I want to get through. So I'm not quite sure how long it'll take. So if you need to come and go and then refer back to the video at any point, you know, this replay is always out there. Hi, Jean Terwilliger. Hi, Yvette Smith. Hi, Bonnie Kemen. So all the replays, every video that I do on YouTube or that was in Facebook, they're always out there for the replay. I get the question a lot. Can I watch it later? Of course, yes. The replays are always there so that you can watch them at your own convenience. And what we're going to do today is kind of walk through everything that's behind me and share with you. Hi, Marsha Long. Hi, Donna Grushke. Walk through what's coming up in January and show you stamp sets that I use um, that kind of help guide you to figure out, like, do you have something at home that you can use in lieu of it so that you don't have to buy a specific stamp set? Maybe you have something that's comparable at home and then you can buy the stamp sets that you want when the, la the catalog launches. So try to make it very um, easy for you guys to create without having to have a lot. So hi, Mary Ellen Ryan from Chile, Montana. Thanks for sharing. Hi, Judy Immel. Uh, I, yeah, good point on the sharing. So thank you for sharing. I also created a Facebook post out there, you guys, on the Cards by Christine page. And you're able to go in and share that post as well in Facebook. But for now, what we should do is give it a thumbs up. Yes, Marsha Long, I actually remembered before I saw your comment. Woohoo! we're on the save wavelength. Um, so there is a little thumbs up that you can do. I'm watching myself now so I can see your comments come through there. We have five already, yay. Hi, Hilda Nell. hi, Dawn Ablett, hi, Mary Schreiber. Um, blizzard in southwest minnesota hi pat detlefson yes you guys it is blowing and blustery here as well uh there's definitely a lot of white stuff i don't know about a week and a half ago somebody said there wasn't going to be a white christmas well they were wrong and i probably said that and then i was wrong but we definitely have a lot of snow on the ground and it's very windy so it's blustery all around uh so my brother is actually en route from stevens point he left about 40 minutes ago and I'm um, thinking that by the time we're done with this live, that he will be here. And our goal for this afternoon is to start working on the DSP sampler. Uh, we won't get it done um, in time for our family dinner, but um, we'll finish it off over the weekend at some point. <laughs> it needs to be done before he leaves to go back home on the 26th. So, yes, yeah, so we definitely, <laughs> as much as I don't like to admit it or tell you guys or... Um, <laughs> we do work on Christmas Day and we do work on, because my brother helps me with it and that's when he's home is usually on the holidays. We always work on stuff on the holidays, especially the sampler. Hi, Gwen Petrashek. Perfect timing. You just got your sugar cookie dough in the fridge to till. Awesome. Yay. So happy that we could coordinate that nicely. All right. So you guys, for those that are new to me, my name is Christine Bertram. I'm from Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, and I am in the middle of Green Bay, Appleton, Oshkosh, Milwaukee, and Madison, basically, in Northeast Wisconsin. I do online classes and in-person classes. Primarily every class that I do online, I also do in person and vice versa, except for a couple. And there is one coming up actually on Wednesday night, the 28th. It's an in-person bingo. And I feel bad because I Beverly tried to sign up for it. And I'm like, Beverly, you're not gonna make it to Wisconsin, I don't think, for this class. And she said no. So the in-person, my bingos that I do are in-person only. And I do like six of them a year. And so my winter bingo is actually coming up next on Wednesday night. So if you are local to the Fond du Lac area and want to do an in-person bingo making two cards, I actually have one of the cards made and it's the calendar card. So excited. So this isn't January. It's actually my last in-person class. And then Kelly's doing paper pumpkin next um, week as well. So I have one card made. And so with winter bingo, I like to do one calendar card. And so I'll share that with you here in a second. But um, I do have a schedule that you guys can find out on my website. Um, it's up to date usually. Uh, some things change though. So periodically I need to go in and update it. So just know that the day you print it, it's always uh, old news. <laughs> just like a newspaper, right? The day it's printed, it's old news. Um, things change and life happens and 
card past classes sell out. So I have to get that updated. So I'm going to share with you guys in case, hi, Diane Bogenhagen, in case you're new to me and watching me for the first time, I have a paper schedule out there. I also have an events calendar. I always have a current host code. Um, most of my classes you could get free with a minimum order or you could pay for them. But then I also have some other classes that are, I call them product-based classes and they're fee-based, meaning you can only pay for them and not get them for free. And if you ever try to get one of those classes for free with an order, I'll tell you that it's not an option. Um, and then you can pick something else. And I always feel bad doing that, but that's just how it goes. So I'm going to flip the camera down, you guys, and share with you um, um, where you can find my stuff. So if you go out to the internet, the World Wide Web, and I have it as a favorite already, but it's cardsbycrisb.com. And then when you go here, two different things. There's an events calendar, so this little calendar, or you can get to it by clicking the hamburger menu, or if you're on your tablet or your computer, it's all across, like the, they're all there. When you're on a phone, everything's smaller. But when you click on events, that is where you go out here, and you can see anywhere there's a gray box is a class. And if you're looking at my paper calendar and you're like, oh, online, January 19th, let's go to January 19th and see what's out there. Well, the cards are designed. They're just photographed. Hi, Linda Hunt, but the cover photo hasn't been created. So you're going to be seeing them now today, but you're not going to be seeing them here until the cover photo is done and added. But all the information is out here that we're using on the farm. Share a milkshake and love for you has the different dates and times and how you can pay for it, when you need to RSVP buy. And then if you want to pay for it online, the option to pay online is here. Or if you want to pay in person, um, like with a cash option and not pay the convenience fee of using a credit card, um, there's all that information is in here. So that's my events calendar. But then the other way you want to go blog and news. This is a file. So hi, Carmen Sanders, newsletter and files. And the first file here, is the January through April 2023 schedule, and then there's the year-long schedule for those that like to plan out. And when you tap on that, it opens up this document, and I know you can't read it here, but you could always print it off at home. Uh, the other thing I wanna share with you while we're on here is when you're on the, oops, well, join my team is here as well, in case you have any questions about joining my team. That's all here, and that's special. I'll talk about that momentarily too during this live. But if you go back to events, there's a picture of me in a yellow shirt. Underneath that is where the current host code always resides. So if you want to place an order, um, almost no days off for me. Yes, I know, Hildy. That's how we usually roll. <laughs> oh, I love it though, right? This is, I love doing this. So the host code is here. You can copy and paste that link into your browser, or you can click right on that word here, and it takes you right into the Stampin' Up! online store, and it automatically adds that host code. So all you have to do is click, <clears throat> not copy and paste, or um, type anything. So those are some key things for those that are new to me that you need to know. Oh, one more, and then I'll be done, and I'll start talking about classes. This is also where you could go to sign up to get my emails. You put your email address in here and you can confirm it. And then it rolls into my back end office and I tag you to get emails from me. And then you'll see about every class that I ever email about specials and sales and everything that I email about, you would be getting them from me. Um, you could also unsubscribe at any point. You won't hurt my feelings. I get it. I send a lot of emails. <laughs> January 5th is a great time to join your team. Yes, or your team, Judy, Judy Immel, anybody's team, right? We've got a bunch of Be Happy Stampers here. Uh, and so those Be Happy Stampers, if you have anybody on you, that you have a network that they would like to sign up, that would be awesome too. So it is a great time. We're going to talk about that little blue machine back there as well, because that is what you could potentially get as an extra perk during signing up during celebration, which starts January 5th. But we're going to roll kind of in order through January and see what we can accomplish today, you guys. Um, if you need to sign up for a class, um, you can also you can comment in here, but just know that's not an official um, signing up. <laughs> what I need for anybody to sign up if they want to sign up for a class. You can definitely see it in this post, but I am not going to be jotting names down during this um, live. I'm going to be kind of rocking and rolling because I know my brother's on his way. If you want to sign up for a class, all you need to do is you can email me. Tell me what class you want to take. You could text me. My phone number is showing. You could call me. Um, if you have to leave a message, though, follow up with a text because... I have a lot of voicemails that I need to get through. And then the other option is do, if you do Facebook Messenger, great, okay? Those are all different ways you can contact me. Uh, you could also sign up via my website um, and pay via, uh, with a credit card. Just know that for every $20, there are about 5% of credit card fees that they charge. 
And if you want to avoid the credit card fee that I do pass on, you could pay via PayPal friends and family, uh, Cash App, Zelle, Venmo, um, Facebook Pay. There's Venmo. There's different ways that you could pay if you want to save that dollar, okay? I mean, and it adds up over the course of time. That dollar could become $30, and that $30 could buy something else that's very nice, right? They are bee earrings, Hildy. So the Be Happy Stampers, and it's a necklace. I wore it today. So part of my Christmas gift from the team, whoever, I don't remember, I didn't have a list of who chipped in. So the Be Happy Stampers, whoever contributed to the team gift um, from me, these are from them. So if you contributed to Hildy, they're actually partly from you. And if you didn't, then <laughs> they're not. But ultimately, they're from the team, right? So um, I, they're awesome. I love it. So I put it on today because I thought you guys need to see my little bee earrings and necklace. So I have a whole bag of stuff from the team that... They those that contributed, I got to share it. I didn't want to do it yesterday. There was a lot that we did last night. So at some point, I'm going to go live and share that as well. Okay. Good question though. <laughs> Hi, Laura Sullivan. All right, you guys, let's flip back down. And to share with you, um, I have my schedule broken down into the type of class, okay? Um, the one class that's not on here because this is January through December of 2023. Um, yes, I'm going to show the paper share, Marsha. It's it's not the real paper share, right? Because I haven't made them, but I'm going to share with you the past paper share. And I'm going to share, oh, I can go get the ribbons. I I can show you so that you understand what's in it, okay? But I won't be able to show you the real one because I don't have them made yet. But winter bingo. So those that are in person, um, this is the winter bingo card. It is serving tool, a dual purpose though, you guys. It's the winter bingo card for Wednesday night. One of them. There's going to be another one with navies and blues. Again, <clears throat> blues and silvers. Hi, Carissa Alberts. Hi, Julie Bierschbach. Um, we, especially, we sit, especially since my heat. Oh, no. Carissa, that's why it was so cold yesterday. <laughs> um, this card is also going to be, sorry to be a little bit of a spoiler alert, you guys. If you are attending the Winter Creative Escape with me, this is one of your attendance gifts. So we all need a new calendar card on our desk, right? Hi, Debbie Buzzy at Work Schultz. Merry Christmas to you as well. Hi, Catherine Healy. So this is a little attendance gift. So if you're going to be, you don't have to make it either. Um, we made the executive decision to have them all made up ahead. So I'm going to have a team of helpers that will help me make these ahead so that you have it ready. Um, hi, Carol Alanis. So again, this is a little attendance gift for the escape and also for bingo. Um, okay, let's talk about... Um, these are the new catalogs, you guys. I, I can't open them. It's against compliance to open them, but I can show you the front cover. So this is Celebration. It goes January 5th through the 28th of February. This is the new mini catalog. You guys, they made the cover purple just for the people who love purple. <laughs> Yay. So I can't open it again. Everything that I'm primarily going to be showing you for these classes does come out of these catalogs. I can share with you stamp sets and such, but I can't stay, share with you like the inside. So we're going to actually start because I believe Marsha is the one that just asked about the product shares and the DSP sampler. So we're going to flip pages over here just to show you guys, if you're new to me, I have a, a, a multiples of series of classes. <laughs> there was a lot of S's on there. I have monthly classes that were my core class. That's why I always put it first. I have sweet bundle classes. The club does the same as the monthly class. Paper pumpkin classes, ink, paper, scissors classes, let's just stamp classes, and new in the new year are the technique club classes. And then I do, I have a section for games and prizes, be happy stampers, teams events, the mystery cards are here, and then I have extras. Think, there, the, you know, to think that this isn't enough to offer you guys. <laughs> we have more. Hi, Linda Kester. There's more. There's extras in January, then February, and March, April. I have my promotional section here, and then there's past classes available over here. So some of you guys, when I printed this out to include with you, I included both pages. Some of you who got Christmas cards from me, I kept it to one page and didn't put the extras all on. And so I kept it to one page, but know that there is more. I didn't wanna to have to mail a second sheet if I could save on a little bit of postage on, like I sent out maybe 300 schedules, so yay. Um, all right. So we're going to start, though, with extras in January. The little section that's over here talks about the spring mini catalog, DSP sampler, and the product share. So people are wondering, well, what is a DSP sampler? You guys, these are two different things. 
This is a sampler. It is designer series paper, DSP sampler. It is for those people that love to see what colors coordinate with the paper. So when you're trying to design cards or if you have customers that want to see the paper, you can pull out this binder. You need to get your own binder and your own page protectors. What you'll get from me, which I have one sheet done, you guys. I have one copy printed just to do a test run to make sure it's right. So you'll get all of these pages, uh, the specialty paper in the front, and then they're alphabetical by the name of the, con um, the designer paper. And what you'll get then is a set of baggies that will have these color swatches on the side and then the DSP swatches, and you will then glue them. Um, Laura got her order yesterday, but no catalogs. Did you order catalogs, Laura? So for those that are demonstrators or hobbyists or discount shoppers, you need to order catalogs. Um, they're in eight packs. They cost like $9 or something or $8. And otherwise, though, as a demonstrator, discount shopper, hobbyist, you should get a catalog from Stampin' Up!, um, in like the mail from Stampin' Up. So if you didn't get your, Laura, if you didn't get your catalog from Stampin' Up, they're closed today, I'm guessing, but you could call them, I may be on Monday if they're open or otherwise Tuesday, and they would send you a catalog. All demonstrators should get that, a one copy complimentary. Uh, very awesome tool to have on hand when designing cards. Yes, that's what Judy, Judy loves this. She gets one every time. I do have the specialty papers done. So um, I worked on this yesterday. I cut these ahead already. So these are cut. My brother and I put these into a bucket, um, little baggies. And then what we're going to work on this afternoon is cutting all the two by two squares. And then over the weekend, what we do is we lay out all 48 of the papers and um, put them in baggies and get them ready to send to you guys. So they will be ready next week, which is awesome. It includes designer series paper from celebration so the we have the name of the catalog on the bottom so this is celebration catalog so this section then once celebration is done you could always take it out of your binder if you are only keeping it current or you keep it in for however long you keep it so this is an example of what you will get but again this is the annual catalog you guys i don't have any annual catalogs left like in terms of this sampler we altered it we changed it we always look for um feedback and you guys didn't like the flipping of the the pages, so everything is going to be all vertical and all alphabetical. We managed to get it alphabetical. So that is what the DSP sampler is. Is twenty six dollars for porch pickup, um, or if you are doing the winter creative escape with me, Suzanne Neal. This answers your question. Do you have to pay shipping? No. I throw it in your box. I don't throw it, right? I gently put it in your box. <laughs> I put it in your box and then you don't have to pay shipping. You're already paying shipping for your box for Monero Creative Escape. Now you can just add the sampler at $26. And if you are not doing the escape with me and you'd like this, shipping is $10. It is $10 for priority flat rate bubble mailer and it will ship to you in something like this. And so if you do need it shipped, it's $36 instead of $26, all right, to accommodate for the shipping. So that is the sampler, okay? Good, good, good. Next is the product share. The product share is listed here. And if you guys, there's a date on here. Like it says, go to January 4th and you will see all the information. So just in case you're, if I went through that too fast, just go to January 4th. The launch party is there. The DSP samplers here and the product shares here. So if you click on it, it's here. All that information, it tells you what you get. You can pay for it via the website. Registration goes through the fourth or until I'm gone. I'm not, I'm gone, but till they're gone. You guys, I have, um, okay, Carmen, perfect. Yeah, just send me a quick note that you want it, email or whatever, however. Um, I have 33 already sold, and I think I have 48 that I'm making. So that leaves 15 of them, okay? So I know that in the next um, month, those will be on. So if you want one, make sure you let me know sooner rather than later. Awesome. So Carmen, I'll try to make a mental note, but I'm not going to write it down. So it's good to follow up. So what is a product share? A product share is a sampling of all the consumables in the new annual catalog. So meaning papers, ribbons, and embellishments. And you will get a, um, a sub, like you could do a la carte. If you only want the paper, great. If you only want the ribbon, fine. If you want the ribbon and the paper, 
cool, awesome. Do you want the whole shebang? Yay, awesome. That's even better, right? So it gives you a little sampling. So this is great for demonstrators or hobbyists who really can't buy everything, but you're curious what it all is. Then you get a small sampling of it, and then you can pick and choose what you want to buy full products of. Or it's great if you love to design and you want like a different like assortment of things to choose from, it gives you that option. Um, there is all, you, you could get all three, you could get a combination of two, or you could just pick one. Uh, just know for my winter Creative Escape attendees, if you're contemplating getting a product share, maybe hold off uh, because I actually, for my winter Creative Escape, my goodie box that I give is not just like five products that come up to $50. It's a $50 goodie bag of an assortment of everything that is consumable. Hi, Mary Hartman. And so it's pretty much the paper share. And then it's um, at least a strip of each of the ribbon, or um, not a strip of the ribbons, a strip of the embellishments. And it might be like a half a yard of each of the ribbons versus a yard. Um, so it's so so think about that before you if you're doing the escape with me just know you are going to get a sampling of almost everything from from the catalog by just doing the escape with me which is awesome so if you're not doing the escape and you're interested in a product share then i'm like yep let's go for it um i have a past product share that i'm going to share with you which is from a couple catalogs ago i think it's like celebration two times ago or i think it's the spring mini from like two years ago me i can't remember i can't remember it's it was so it's from when the, the dandy garden came out, because <laughs> I see that ribbon in here. So I'll show you kind of an example. So again, this though, if you go to my website, it actually shows on here, if we go back, we it shows here product share, and it will tell you in here, uh, papers and more. I think if I add it up correctly, it's about 139 six by six pieces, four note cards and four matching envelopes, and it includes all those papers, cost $35 cash check price, cash, you know, like if you don't pay via the website, there's ribbons and you get two yards or one yard of each of them, embellishments, including the following. And so that's the cost. And then here's the kicker, you guys. It's not a kicker. It's actually an awesome thing. If you choose the option that is all three paper, ribbon, and embellishments, you receive a free gift from me. And what is that free gift? It's a class in January. And um, basically there's the cost and you get to pick out a free class. Now with any of these options, if you need them mailed to you, you need to add shipping. And shipping is $10 if you get the paper, because the paper's heavy, um, it needs to be the $10 shipping. Now, if you get like, let's say the ribbons and the embellishments, pick the shipping without paper, okay? So you don't need to pick both shippings. You want to pick one or the other, and it depends on if you're getting paper or not. And if you're getting all of it, like papers, ribbon, and embellishment, you need to add the $10 shipping. So you guys got to figure out your shipping. If you don't get it exactly right, don't worry. I'll reach out to you to help figure it out and make it right. Uh, but this is a sample of what you might get. Like if you would have gotten this share from many moons ago, you'd get, and I roll, you guys, I, I have the ribbon not rolled up very nicely. You'll get the ribbon rolled up very nicely on a little card. And so you get the, you know, different embellishments. You get like a yard or a half a yard of ribbon. And then like, this is what we talk about with six by six sheets. It's like a brick and you get a sampling of everything. Now this is when that ice cream paper was out. This is like two years ago, I think. And then if in case you do note cards and envelopes, this was with packaging. There's no packaging in this new catalog. So we don't have to worry about packaging, but in case you're wondering, that's the old. So give me 30 seconds. I'll run over and get some of the new stuff. This is just to show you, like, the, you'll get new stuff. So the burlap ribbon, the red ribbon, the balmy blue ribbon, there's pool party ribbon, there's navy ribbon, there's this twine. I even put them onto little spools for you. And then I'm not including this. This is the one of the only things not included are these loose little flowers, you guys. I am not about ready to go divide these up into packs of four for you. I love you guys, but I don't love you that much. To, or I don't want to put somebody through that that much to have somebody have to divide these into piles of four and put them in little poly bags. So loose flowers not included. But you get like a fifth. So you get a fifth or a third of packages. Like in this case, you get two rows or three rows. I can't remember how I have it done, but you get rows of stuff. In this case, you get, there's five rows. So everybody gets 
So basically it takes these products and it divides them into four or five or three, and then it's priced based off of that. Like in this case, you'd get three rows of this, you get some of these, you get some of, oh, it's the same one. Some of these, you'll get some of these. Oh, the masks are not included. Again, they're not a consumable item, but then I go through all the paper and we divide up and you get one sheet of each of these, one sheet of each of these, one sheet, one sheet. And what I'm saying is a six by six sheet. So that's the product. Hi, Cindy Runtree, the product share. It's a great sampling of everything. And then if you do sign up for all three things, make sure you reach out to me and let me know what class you'd like for free that's offered as a free with purchase class. Hang on one second, let me put this back. All right, so that's the product share designer series paper sampler in a nutshell. Uh, the next thing is the escape. The escape, we'll talk about, we'll just keep going with the extras in January. The, the Winter Creative Escape is a, an event I do for demonstrators, discount shoppers, hobbyists, however you call yourself. If you're with Stampin' Up! and you have a demo ID number, uh, you could attend this event. And it's four one-day in-person events, or it's a virtual event for four days. And there's nine make and takes. You saw the calendar card as an attendance gift. As soon as the real attendance gift comes... I will share it with you guys. It's set for delivery on January 3rd. Uh, I had something. Tyler picked it out. It's super cool. Last time we had picnic blankets. Another time we had binder things. This one is going to be completely, uh, you'll see like, oh yeah, that's Tyler. Uh, of course, this is why he would pick it out because it's a, it's a Tyler thing. Um, but you will love it. He said every, every person needs to have one of these in their car or for camping or for something. So I'm so excited. Once I have it, I'll share it with you. I, I'm not like that. I, I feel like the more I share with you guys, the, the fun or, more fun it is, <laughs> right? So uh, you'll have nine make and takes and I have the nine cards here that I'm going to share with you from the make and takes. I did a separate video just on the winner creative escape and you guys uh it's 125 dollars for non-team members for my team i give you a discount it's ten dollars off and it's 115 um you get a box mailed to you after the event if you're not local because i'm still adding things to your box throughout and to box and mail all that before the event would would probably put me under like like i would probably be done so we mail out boxes after it's generally the only thing that i mail out a box after the event or the class where all my other classes you guys you get your kits ahead of time so there's a lot that goes into this event and to try to mail them out early it's hard and so we try to include the online people as much as possible by giving them like jennifer does her make and takes um, not her make and takes, her presentations, and she shares measurements so you guys can craft with us throughout the week. There's eight creative presentations total, plus I do one with the book. Um, it's like a little book that we're going to make. It's good. There's a lot that goes into it, um, lots of displays, and so I, I challenge you guys to watch that video. I just sent an email about it yesterday. In case you missed it, I didn't get that email, but reach out to me. I can resend it to you, but go watch the video. I did it on YouTube, but let's share with you what the cards are. And I'm not going to share the sets on this because I did all of that in that video. But I'm going to share with you the cards in case you want to see them. Um, so there's the share a milkshake card. There's the on the farm card, which is like a little fun fold. So it goes like that. Uh, and I, I talked through on that video like what stamps you need or don't need to have. This is on the ocean. That must go right there. This is the Harley card, the legendary ride. Sentimental Park on this one. A Beautifully Happy, maybe, is the name of the set, mixed with Regency Park. This is the Nested Friends, I believe. And then Around the Bend. And then Lighting the Way. Again, those are the nine make and takes. And so what happens is if you attend in person, I will have stations here set up and you make your cards here. And for those online attendees, I am doing a special class for you about a week after the event on a Tuesday morning. So not the week after. I want, I'll want i mail your boxes out on Monday or Tuesday. And then the following Tuesday, which will give a week for you guys to get your boxes, I do like a three-hour long private Facebook page. In that page, um, or the group, I will do a video uh, showing you how to make all nine of the cards. And so you get like an, a private, it's, it's private to everybody who is in the event, right? So people who do it in person can also watch it, but I do a separate class just on those cards so you guys can make them with me, okay? So that's the escape. The 3D project for the escape is this book. We're gonna teach you how to make it. You can decorate it how you want to. Um, I will have some of these stamps out or Chris and I talked about it. 
we think that we want to teach you guys how to do this and maybe do your stamping and decorating at home. So we're going to play that one by ear, but we're going to teach you how to do this book, which is awesome because it has all these little envelope flaps. And so like I could see giving away, you know, surprising something with something, a message every day that they have to pull it out and you can number it. There's just so many things that you could do with a little book like this. And we're going to teach you how to make it. Amanda Waldhart is the one that we got this idea from. All right. So that's the escape. And then the other thing that's on extras in January is the launch party, you guys. All right. The launch party will be here before we know it. It features all celebration products. Not all of them. It only features, well, I should say that differently. It features celebration products, right? It can pull in annual catalog, the mini catalog, but it primarily focuses on celebration. And in some cases, we have two cards because of how it works. Um, you're gonna get one or the other color. So if you see the cover photo, like the cover photo is gonna show the orange one and it's gonna show the blue one, but you might get the purple one or the coral one. Uh, all right, so this is the first week of January. We're kidding these up next week, Wednesday. So it would be awesome if anybody needs to get some, I don't know if I should roll my sleeves up or leave them down. <laughs> they keep like getting there in the way. Um, if you wanna sign up by Wednesday, that would be great. So we, I know we have an idea of how many we're making, but. I want to get them in the mail because New Year's, we lose a day for shipping. All of these cards then, um, folk, like the celebration paper. So that's that favored flowers paper. And you would get either the purple or the coral. I do know that if you get this coral card, you're going to get the blue card. And if you get this coral card, you're going to get the purple card is how I have it in my head so that you don't have overly coral going on. I think maybe I don't, maybe I won't even plan it because honestly, that'll be too much. I won't know once they're in the envelope. So Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. There's no rhyme or reason to what ones you get. You're either going to get one or the other. You're going to get one or the other, or you're going to get one or the other. Regardless, they're all amazing and super cute. So this is that fun fold. Thanks to Gwen Petrashek and Sherry Holly. They made a card like this for the onstage event that I did and totally cased it using the favorite flowers paper and the fragrant flowers bundle that coordinates with it. The label will be die cut for you. This foliage will be die cut. You will need some sort of a flower stamp or leave it off. You could always just decorate the edge with the leaves and the these white things. Um, so can't wait. Look at all those blue cards. Oh, yes, you guys, be ready for blue. There's going to be a plethora of blue coming. You just saw a bunch of it from the escape. There's more coming. Uh, so a flower here, and it's this flower here if you want to match it. And again, there's two different choices. You don't get a choice. You're going to get what you get, right? I, I I, don't know. Like They all get kitted up, and then they just get laid out, right? So it's too hard to coordinate that. This set is from the On the Farm bundle, which is over here. So the On the Farm bundle is this bundle. And the stamp that's used in here is actually the barn. So your little wind tower windmill is gonna be die cut for you. Your circles will be die cut. And this is a fun fold. I'm a little afraid to open it because I'll have to tie it shut again, but this pops out. And this designer paper, it's actually tied. You pull the string and then this flap comes down and then you see the, the inside of the designer paper as well. And there's two different farm papers that we use, the chicken and the, <laughs> the chicken and the hen, the little baby. And then, then we got the produce one. And I just did these opposite sides so you could see um, what, if you like that side better or that. And when you get the tutorial from me, both cards will be shown so you can see it. Uh, so that's the on the farm using that paper. The oh, oh man, the adorable owl stamp set is upstairs. It's in the celebration catalog. I left it upstairs on my desk. Uh, there's a stamp set in the new celebration catalog called Adorable Owls. And um, that's where the word comes from here. But oh, Carissa, where did we do it? Um, we had to have written that down, didn't we? Oh, man. These are my recipe cards. Something fancy dies. Balmy ribbon. Oh, man. I don't remember where the squirrel... Oh, the gnome set. There's a, a set called Friendly Gnomes. That's where the squirrel and the bird come from. This is uh, actually a gift card holder, though, you guys here. So you can put your gift card in there. Or you could actually put another piece of white paper and have a little pop-out card there. But that is one. So this is all fun folds, you guys. In case you didn't see that, <laughs> they're all fun folds. We did that for the celebration. Um, there's no, uh, there's celebration is all fun folds. And the catalog launch party is all fun folds. So, so Laura said no farm for her either. But you know what, you guys? Think two things to that comment. So I'm glad you said that. If you don't get the bundle, 
you can still make the card. Just don't put the barn on it, right? Because I'll show you, you could put the wind tower right in the middle and then you don't have a barn on it, okay? So that's one thing. Second thing is consider who you might be giving the card to. Just because you, and this is for everybody, right? And maybe you don't like the barn set or maybe you don't like flowers or maybe you don't like owls, but is there somebody in your life that would love to receive that card from you. So you have to think about the receiving end. It's like when you go shopping for a gift for somebody, they like blue, right? But you love purple. Are you gonna go buy them a purple gift? No, because they like blue, right? So I'm using me and Krista as an example. And look at I wear a blue shirt for you guys today. Like there's all about that. So you know, think about the receiver of the card or the gift that you're getting versus thinking about who's giving it and what you like. So so, the, so just wanted to put that out there, you guys. Like think about that sometimes when you're designing cards. You may not like it, but that person might like it. And it, guys love, and like in general, you could give that to a guy in your life and they would be like, oh, this is cool, right? Because it's not flowers and purple. <laughs> all right, so there's your owls adorable owls. Hi, Randy Schultz. Merry Christmas to you as well. Uh, this is from the Dainty Delight. Now, Dainty Delight, oh, this I thought I was using, but I wasn't. Uh, we ended up using a different one there. Let me put this back over here. All right. So, Dainty Delight is used on this card. Ah, the only thing we used is the sentiment. Celebrate you. This is actually designer series paperback here, guys. Part of the celebration paper. And then your little butterfly is cut out of some of that new shimmer paper. And this is a fun fold that opens like this, that new easel thing. Don't buy the stamp set. <laughs> Laura, I'm saying that was my first point on this one. Don't buy the farm stamp set just to buy it. You don't need it. Look at this. If you take the barn off of here, you could put that wind tower right in the middle. A card to say hello is from a different set. That is just a sentiment. Everybody's got different sentiments. And you, that sentiment is from that one chart, uh, sending smiles. That's from sending smiles. It's not even from the barn set. Um, you could, this is balmy blue ink blended. You could do, um, you could draw lines here to make the hill out of a green marker and color it. We colored it with colored pencil. So yeah, I mean, so you don't have to buy, you, or you could put something else on that circle. There's still different things. Um, yeah, Catherine, every, everybody, that's, that's what the great thing about it is. Um, you could cut a house from the DSP. Oh, yeah. So there's designer series paper. If you get that free, right, as a celebration item, or maybe you won't pick it, there's options. Like, go through your stamps. I bet that anybody could find something that they currently have that would work with that card. Ah! <laughs> Laura says, okay, sign me up, please. It's like twisting of that arm. <laughs> All right, send me a note, Laura. Make sure to send me a text message and I'll get you signed up for it. All right, you guys, launch party. It is the first week of January. It's listed here under extras. The cost is $18 if you're doing porch pickup or attending in person or a $30 order for in-person porch pickup. Um, or if you need it mailed, the one thing I do need to call out, you guys, is shipping has gone up. <laughs> like, shipping is going up crazy. So I added a dollar to the shipping. So um, it used to be $5, which was really easy math, right? But now I have shipping at $6. So that class mailed is $24, or it's free with a $45 order. Uh, that is hygiene Maxwell. So that's, that's one minor change to everything. Um, I'm also going to be doing something different with you guys who take two or three or four or all my classes in a month for the shipping where I can consolidate it. Like this fitting florets and ring with nature. I was putting cash back in people's packages and I'm like, ah, oh, like what happens if the package gets lost? It happened to Leslie McMinn. Her package got lost and it had a $10 bill in it. Somebody got that. Um, so I think starting in January, I don't think, I know, and Kelly's working on it right now. I'm making up re shipping rebate coupons, you guys, so that instead of throwing cash back in your package, I'm going to handwrite the amount on there and you can use a shipping rebate coupon versus off of a future class versus giving cash back. Um, I think it's just going to be a lot easier and more painless for me to have singles and $5 bills on hand and then you don't have to lose it in your package. And so just watch for the shipping rebate coupon starting in January. I, th I think it'll be easier for everybody. Okay. So, oh man, hang on one moment, please. I don't want to roll over all my pretty cards. Oh man. We had a domino effect here. Okay. So, 
Let's put them somewhere else so they're not going to roll all over the place. And we're going to bring... You guys get to see my crazy pants. Ha, ha, ha. Um, Tyler's mom gave them to me as a gift. And I have to wear them for the holidays. Otherwise, um, I don't make her happy. They're my tie-dye pants. I think you saw them. All right. <laughs> Tyler's like, you're wearing those pants for your life. I'm like, yeah, I don't care. <laughs> All right, you guys. Let's talk about the, the core classes now. So we've got the monthly class, which we're going to talk about first. So we're going to flip back to the beginning of the schedule. Now, there are going to be some repeats of cards. We, we talk about that. We like to utilize things multi-times if we can. And so the cards for the escape get used elsewhere in different classes, okay? So two of them I'm pulling in already in January. And then the rest, the other seven get pulled in to other classes in February, March, and April, right? So you'll see these again in, in a future life, or I should say in our future, not a future life, but in our future. Uh, so, so two of these, you're gonna, you've are gonna you seen them already. So the monthly class is the 18th, the 21st, and the 19th, and offered four different times, and this is the same cards that the club is making um, on the 9th of January. Three sets that are featured are these three sets right here, which are... Love for You, which is this card, all right? It's designed in a way that it fits that so much love for you perfectly. But if you don't have these words or this set and you're like, I don't want to buy it, it's okay. You could stamp a focal image on here. You could stamp words. You could do whatever you want. We used the dies from the Hues of Happiness, our Happiness Abounds, and made it look like a notebook paper and have it like that somebody scribbled on a piece of notebook. So again, the sky's the limit on this one. You could do whatever you wanted to. Um, but all the embossing and the heart die cut and this die cutting will be done for you. The share a milkshake got brought into this class. So this is for the monthly class. Uh, so if you're doing the escape and the monthly class, you'd end up with two of these, but great time to have a sample to keep. And then you could also give out the other one. And so this is the share a milkshake card. Um, so this is stamped on the inside. And then all you really need is a sentiment on the outside and some ink. Uh, we did pull in the mask back here with some shaded spruce ink, I think, just to put a little texture on the tag. But otherwise, all of that die cutting, even your golden spoon, Anna's working on that right now. <laughs> all right, so that's share a milkshake. And then the barn card got pulled in here. And you don't need the stamps except for the barn gets used. Again, just the barn, which you could leave off of the card if you didn't want to. You will get a piece of designer series paper that has these pieces in it, along with Baba White Sheep right here. So those are paper. They're not stamps. The windmill is going to be die. It's already die cut. Tammy die cut that for you guys already. And some clouds in the background. But again, if you don't have the barn, you can make this card look super cool without the barn. But if you have something else you could put there, great. And then you've got that flap, and then it opens like this. And I glued my flap wrong, you guys. This flap is supposed to be glued down here, but I got glue happy on the front end, I guess. So again, you wouldn't have to put that in the bottom if you don't want to. Okay, so that's the monthly class. These cards are $15 or free with an order. So this is a class you could pick out for free with a minimum purchase. I did change it. Um, I looked for some consistency between classes. And so all the classes for porch pickup are either, so if it's a three card class or a four card class, it's $30 order for in-person or porch pickup. And it's a $45 order for mailing. And so that didn't change. The mailing part was always $45. I made that change last year, but now we're keeping everything kind of consistent. So so that we don't have to always be like, well, which, how much is this one? How much is that one? So this one is three cards, $15. If you want it mailed, it's $21 or free with a $45 order. Okay, so that's the monthly class. The sweet card class is here. It features Country Floral Lane, which is this stamp set here, and it comes with a punch. All right, so... Let's look at those stamps. There are, I mean, we had, my goal when I do this kind of a class is I want every stamp used, if possible, or the bulk of them. And I'd love the punch you. So yes, we did use these stamps, but do you have to use these stamps or could you use other stamps? Let's talk about that as we go through it. So this is four cards, $18 or free with a $30 order for 
porch pickup or mailing, um, porch pickup or in-person. Mailing is $24 or free with a $45 order. Again, this could be a class you pick for free with an order or the product share. This is also my promotional class, which has an asterisk on the back end. And so when you go to that promotional section back here, it says order the country bouquet bundle plus any other item from the suite because there's ribbon, there's embellishments, there's designer series paper. So you got to order the bundle and two other thing, or the bundle and one other thing to give you two things. And if you do it by January 17th, you can attend any of the three classes for free. And you get a half a pack of the Country Gingham Designer Series paper. So the thing is, you got to order those two things, and it can't go for a different class. It's got to be for this class. The four cards are so, and we always try to use a nice combination of the Designer Series paper. And so this one, you need a sentiment. Okay, nice, just the sentiment. All that embossing and die cutting or punching will be done for you. Sentiment, something on the inside. This one is where the heart got pulled in. So this is a two-step stamping. So you have the heart and you have the leaves. Now, if you don't have this exact heart, do you have other, do you have a heart? <laughs> of course you have a heart. But do you have a stamping heart that you could put there? Or do you have something else that you could put there? It wouldn't even have to be a heart. But you need something on this white uh, square here the, and a sentiment here. And then this opens like this. And so we got our blues and petal pink going on. And then this one, you need a sentiment. This is punched out for you, already going to be embossed. There are some stamping on these leaves, but you wouldn't have to. It's this little, oh, where did we get that from? Ah, I don't remember. <laughs> oh, Chris is going to be like, you forgot. Or did I write it down on the recipe card? Regency Park stamp. Yes, it's the leaf detail. Ha <laughs> ha. We just put a little cross hatching thing on here just to give it a little texture. So you need a sentiment on this one, you guys. And that's basically it for that one. And this one, I love it. We made another little book card for you guys, a vertical. Uh, this is designer series paper. So this will be provided to you. So you don't have to worry about having a stamp on here. All you need to have is a sentiment. The, mo the majority of these colors are mint and real red, balmy blue, petal pink, uh, sweet sorbet on that last one. But just a sentiment here. And then it says, just wanted to say happy Valentine's Day. All right, so that is the sweet bundle class that is for the month of January. It's the promotional class that if you order it by the 17th that you'd get the free half pack of paper but you've got to tell me that. you got to use the host code and so what people generally do is after they place their order with that product they follow up with an email and say hey I just placed an order for this country floral suite country floral lane class. I want uh, that bundle option, promotional option, and then I, I log it so that I give you that gift when I ship your kits or your card kits, okay? So that's the bundle promotion class. Then there is uh, Let's Just Stamp, that's this one. So Let's Just Stamp is the class I do in co collaboration with Diane Bogenhagen. Diane teaches the in-person version and I do the online version. And for this month, let's flip this down. We'll come back to some of these things. Uh, let's just stamp is on the back top here. It features Dainty Delight. And so there's three class options because Diane's actually adding a 1 p.m. But here's the thing for the 1 p.m. If she only has two people for 1 p.m. and she has eight for 6 p.m., she's going to move the 1 p.m. and can like do it at the same. So she's going to merge them together and just do one class, right? She's been getting like 20 to 23 people that signed up for her class. And so we're putting it out there that there's space at both, but I know it's the winter months here, so it might not, um, people might want the daytime class, right? Because then you don't have to drive at night. So we'll play things by, um, you know, by the ear as we need to with that, okay? So this features Dainty Delight, but because this is Let's Just Stamp, there's no die cutting or embossing. So we have to design, we don't have to, we get to. We get to design cards not using a machine uh, to share with you, and... We made, I think we did fun folds. Oh, we did two fun folds for you guys. All right, so this, all you need is a sentiment because this is the designer series paper. And because this is January, we can use celebration paper. When you open it up, it goes like this, and then it, it's a toggly card. Yay, it's so cool. I haven't had it out of the envelope for a while. So yay, isn't that pretty? Okay, so that's one card. Uh, the second card is also a fun fold. And you guys might remember it as the mystery card layout. And you need a sentiment. And then that flower, one of these flowers gets used. But you guys, Stampin' Up! has so many flowers. I'm sure over the years you've gotten a flower stamp that if you don't want to buy this, 
use any other flower stamp that you want there and a sentiment here and it opens this way and then it opens this way and you got your double matting actually on the inside and then that's how this one works just like the mystery card which i forgot to photograph this morning so i gotta set that there so that's a second card all right so with this one there's three cards i think i have about 25 people already signed up for this class it's so awesome all right that's the second card. Now let's look at the third one. And I think this was a fan favorite is what I'm hearing. On this one, it uses the bigger stamp here. And then we lightly colored in the flowers and then thank you for your kindness. And it's just a regular A2 card that opens normal, but it's got the double matting. Let's just stamp as a double matting class that we do. All right, so this one is on the backside, Dainty Delight. I have it online on Tuesday, January 17th. Nope, sorry, I lied. Diane has it then. I'm like, that doesn't make sense. I have it on the 23rd because I have these escape all in there and I'm going to mail these cards out after the escape. Okay. That's the other thing I make an offer to anybody who's doing the escape. If you sign up for any classes that I kit up before the escape that they're ready to put in your box, I would put a rebate coupon in for shipping off our future classes, um, to take shipping off of future classes. So, um, so something to consider, like, so this class and the monthly class, I will have those probably kitted up before the escape. And so um, we could work the shipping so that it goes in your box without you having to pay extra shipping. Yay. Okay. So that's Dainty Delight. Let's go back to the front here. So paper pumpkin. Um, if you guys see back here, there are three paper, pump, four paper pumpkin boxes. The top one is from, uh, I think, just some, nope, October, November. November. It's the tag one. So there is a November paper pumpkin available yet. And I think that of those three, Mo is taking one of the bottom ones. So I have two December paper pumpkins and Kelly is doing the paper pumpkin class next week on Thursday night. Okay. Last online class, actually last class of the year is next Thursday. Then let's flip back down here. So you can see the January paper pumpkin is already out here. I think I published it already. Let's just look really quick. So all you have to do is go to the calendar right here, go to events. And if you go to January and you look at the 26th paper pumpkin, Kelly's already, I got it out here already. It's called locked in. Um, the name of it is key to my heart. Kelly does this class. So if you see a picture like that with two people, that's Kelly, my cousin, she teaches the paper pumpkin classes. And so that's out there already. In case you guys are wondering, you can be subscribed by the 10th of the month. So we've talked about monthly club, paper, pumpkin, sweet. Now we go to ink, paper, scissors. Ink, paper, scissors is a product-based class. This is not one you can get free with an order. I repeat, <laughs> ink, paper, scissors is not free with a purchase. So this one is $37 mailed and it includes a goodie bag. So this one also went up that dollar for shipping. It's $30 for in-person or porch pickup. It's $37 for mailing um, if you do the cash you know, option. The, it features delicate, no, desert, I want to say delicate desert. I think delicate desert is the name of the suite, but the desert details is the stamp set. So we used all four sentiments and we used the flowers primarily on these cards and a lot of the dyes. Um, if you don't have these succulents, do you have something else that could work? Because what happens if anytime that you have to stamp a focal image, I give you a piece of paper big enough to stamp it. I don't, you know, I can't stamp anything for you. And so in this case, I'm going to give you a quarter sheet of paper, which is big enough to stamp all of these succulents. So on this card, this is my favorite. I'm showing it to you first. I love this one. You'll get a roll of ribbon, this that ribbon. You'll get the, a quarter pack of the designer paper, and you get a pack of the gems. And these are the pastel gems. So that's what's coming in this ink, paper, scissors. Anything die cut is die cut. So like in this case, this little thing is die cut for you. Um, and then this is actually embossed with white embossing powder and a heat tool and Versamark. And if you don't have that, you could always use Cajun Craze to stamp your sentiment. But we loved how the white pulled in. And this is a class where I always do the double matting as well. And here the little flowers stamped or the succulent is stamped there and then out here. Same thing on this one. There's two succulents. There's gray granite is the color, if you guys are wondering. Gray granite and then this is um, soft succulent. 
uh, features the design. Oh, you guys. <laughs> yeah, I told you when we do a mystery card layout, I love it so much that I usually do it three times or two times, right? So we just did it on the one class and now we pulled it in, but it's so cool. Look at that. Like, I love this layout. Love it, love it. And this back part is embossed with the gingham embossing folder. So that'll come done for you. Embossed. And you'll use your designer paper. And if you want to mix and match up the colors, you can because you have your own paper. And so is it pretty? So that's our mystery card layout again. This one is uh, a flower that is stamped in pale papaya. Sentiments in coral. Coral. Calypso coral. Uh, these little guys will be die cut for you and you'll use, uh, I'm going to throw in a little piece of that. So this pale papaya ribbon is what actually came this week. I will tell you guys, it was so hard designing. <laughs> Chris and I looked at each other like, oh, we got to use this pale papaya ribbon. All right. So what we did is we opted not to because it really only matched one card. And what we did is we pulled in that tan ribbon instead which looks perfect with all of the cards. So I will add a little piece of this pale papaya velvet ribbon into your kit uh, for just this specific card. But this die is die cut, all that's die cut. You need a sentiment and something to put on your label for this one. And this one's super cool too. Uh, you need a sentiment in soft succulent. And then these guys are in gray granite with their tips of their leaves are green with soft succulent. And you'll have that die cut for you already. And then the gems were perfect with this suite of products. So cool. All right, so you guys, this is the Delicate Desert Ink Paper Scissors for the month of January. Now, it's not in January, but it's close. It's February 2nd. You guys, I leave for Florida on that Thursday, the day that Kelly's doing the pumpkin, which is January 26th. So I leave on January 26th, and I'm gone for like five days. Tyler will still be here <laughs> holding down the fort, but uh, Mom and I are going down to Florida. And so normally I would have had ink paper scissors on the 26th, and paper pumpkin would have been a different night, but because we're gone, I put the ink paper scissors to the first week of February. I'm not calling this the February ink paper scissors because the queen bee is the February ink paper scissors. So just know that this class falls on February 2nd, not in January, even though it's the January ink paper scissors. Everywhere you're going to see it is, is January, except for on my calendar. It's, um, it's going to be in February's calendar because it's based off of the date. So uh, so that one's a product, ba uh, it includes product, so it is fee-based only. Okay, all right, so that is ink, paper, scissors. Oh, we've already done Let's Just Stamp. There's one more class that is the new class for this year, and I don't have the cards physically here in my possession, but I have pictures of them. And you guys are wondering about this new Technique Club class. I'm doing this as a collaborative effort with Rose Coleman in Canada to try to help our mutual um, watchers. Like if she has people that are in Canada that watch me and then she has people in the States that watch her, then I can help get kits for her classes into her U.S. people that watch her and my Canadian viewers can get my kits through her basically. So we are, we're taking each other's classes and, and offering them to our other, you know, peeps in our, you know, in the area. So she does a technique club class. It's order based only. And I have to do mine a little bit differently because pricing is different, right? So so just know when she talks about her pricing, it's going to be different and her benefits are different because of the, the, current, the foreign currency exchange rates, right? So this is a club and for me, how I'm going to run it, um, I'm going to run it that once you do 10 classes in a row and hers is 10 as well, so that's not any different, but she picks a hostess and she, um, gets, she splits out the hostess rewards differently than I do. What I'm going to do is January... February, March, April, May, June, July, August, August, September, October. So if you attend 10 of these in a row, so if you place 10 orders once each month, it's always in the month that the club is, right? So you place an order in each of those months and it's $50. So I based it off of 50. So it's not 45 like the other classes. It's $50. And then at the 10th month, once you place that order, you've earned $75 of host credit and a half off item. Okay. So how does that sound? <laughs> I will keep track of things. I just need to know when you're placing your order, is it for the technique club class or is it for a different class? And that that's usually how you guys do that, right? You tell me what class it's for. So just know if you want to do this, uh, 
it's got to be a $50 minimum order. And then on that 10th month, so it's consecutive. If you skip a month, it starts over. Okay. It's a consecutive, like it's like joining a club. So if you've ever done a club, like I have my in-person club here, it's eight people. It runs for eight months and each month a person takes a turn being a host, right? So that, that, how she normally does it. For this, I'm going to keep track of it. And you could join this at any time. You can stop it whenever you want. There's nothing that you're really signing up for. It's just you are you are the one that needs to place the order and use a current host code, whatever the current host code is on my website. And it's for $50. And once you've done 10, I will reach out to you. And if you've done 10 and you want to reach out to me first, that's fine too. Uh, but she's, she's going to be teaching the class. And she's going to be doing it via YouTube Live on her YouTube channel, whereas I'm doing the sweet class on my YouTube channel. Uh, and her customers are going to be able to watch me. And we're going to acknowledge each other's customers. Like, she's going to give me her sign-up list, and I'm going to give her mine so that, you know, we know who's all in the class. Um, no, Catherine Healy, the Boho Blue is the same as the Mini Boss. They're the same. And we'll talk about that. I got to remember to bring that in here. We got to talk about that. So it's the same size. If you got the little mini white one, it's the same size. So three cards, but you also get a technique sheet. So that's the difference. Like, so instead of it being four cards, we, we do three cards for, or she does three cards. She's featuring a stamp set with each month and a different technique. So share a milkshake is what she's doing for January, which you guys saw the stamp set. And she's doing the rock and roll technique, which is where you ink it up and then you rock the edges with um, more ink to give it a two-tone effect. Like Beautifully Happy is the braided paper in February. She's doing Sweet Citrus with the Aqua Wash in March and the Sentimental Park with masks in April. And so I, uh, you betcha, Catherine. I'm going to share with you. She, she made the cards. They are here in my messages. So I can share a picture of the card so you can kind of see. Because I know sometimes you guys like to see things beforehand um, before you sign up. And then I'll also share with you a picture of like what this technique is card is going to look like. And what happens is you start to collect these cards in a baby small binder. And then if you're looking for techniques to do, you can refer back to this binder. All right. So let's share with you. This is a card. This is a first card. So you can see on here, she's got like the original ink color and then she's ro rocked around and got another secondary ink color on it. So that is the share milkshake. That is your second card. And it has you know, again, all the die cutting and any punching will be done for you. You would need a sentiment there. Here, you're going to kind of want the stamps if you do this. You'll get a piece of white paper. But if you don't, if you have the old, like, ice cream set, you could probably use the old ice cream set. And there's the third card with the banana split on it. And there she did the rock and roll technique as well. All right. So those are the three cards. And I got to share with you what this, she took different pictures. <laughs> Hang on. This is our picture gallery. I got to show you. And I sent her my pictures. Oh, this is the process. She's showing me the process of how her December cards, what she had to do for them with the enamels. So she did the enamels for her technique in December. And she was sharing with me how she creates one big sheet and then she punches out from there. And she did the candy canes in December. So that was one of her December cards. And then this is an example of what the, the sheet looks like. And so it talks about pearlized enamel effects and has a written... Um, description and then there's a sample. There's Rose in case you guys have never seen Rose. There's Rose and then this is an example of the like what you would do is get your page protectors. Um, I'll share a link with you to figure out you know so you know what page protectors but you get a piece of paper from me like on cardstock with that so that you put that in the bottom and then that comes to you like that and so then you just start putting them in a binder and then you make a card with it. So there you go. So that is what the Technique Club class is about. Three cards with a technique sheet that you would get in a binder. And I will, if you guys have Amazon, I can share with you a link to get the binder and also to get the page protectors. Um, ultimately, the main thing is using the current host code. And um, you can't like, I, I remember Donna Grushki, you asked him questions about it in the past uh, during game night. And I don't know if I answered them all completely. Um, but you... You place the order in the month of the club, like so let's say the first or let's say the celebration starts on the 5th, you want to wait till the 5th. You can sign up ahead of time, right? Like right now I've got Mary Lemke signed up for the class and I've got Angela Knutson signed up for the class, but they can't place their orders for it until January 1st and if they wanted to, they should wait until um, January 5th. 
Um, yes, uh, Rose has a link to watch. And what I will do is in my events, um, I, I can't remember what her YouTube link is off the top of my head, um, but she has a Facebook page too. What I'm going to do is in the event that I create in my website, because I haven't created it. Oh, that's the one thing. Uh, yeah, Rose has showed up on your Facebook feed. So cool. She's awesome. She's sweet. She's so down to earth. She's so loving. Um, she's so passionate and so patient. And she's just a great teacher as well. Uh, so I found like some synergies with her. And I thought, well, this would be great. It's not adding a lot more, let's say, work to the work plate, right? The wheel's already moving. And now we're inserting one thing into the wheel. It's going to have a hiccup or two for a moment. And then it'll be going through the wheel. Um, so, you know, we don't necessarily design these. So I still am designing the one class and she's designing the other class and she's still teaching that class and I'm teaching my class. But what we're doing is we're offering the kits up. So if I've offered to kit her cards up to the people in the U S and she's offered to kit up that class to people in Canada so that we're offering more, you know, she's offering a second class and I'm offering a second class. So it's the extra kitting up on, uh, of the kits. That is really the work. Um, so, I will share it. Rose makes some super cute cards. She is funny as well. That's what it's all about. Fun, right? Having fun and being funny and making everybody laugh. Uh, so I will be sharing that link for the YouTube. Most likely when I create my event in my website, I will have that link. So anybody who takes the class will be able to find that link by going into the event on my um, events calendar. Um, and also I always have that graphic that I share, except for I messed up this last one, you guys, on Thursday was the class, but I put the post for Wednesday. I don't know why I put it for Wednesday, but I will also do that like, hey, class is coming up tonight and then I'll include the link so you can see it in Facebook. So her last name, Hildenel, is Coleman, C-O-L-E-M-A-N, Rose Coleman. Um, and I believe, let's look here really quick. I'll pull up Facebook. She hadn't done YouTube lives before I reached out to her, but she's going to be doing this via YouTube live because I said I wanted consistency with YouTube. And I think that overall it will benefit her to have this on uh, YouTube as well. Let's look up Rosemary Coleman. Um, I think it's, it's, da, 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 da. Um, let's see. I, she, I'm, I, I'm drawing a blank at what her Facebook page is. It's like creating with Rose, maybe creating. Nope. It's not creating with Rose. Who, um, Linda Hunt, do you already watch her? What I'm trying, I am just drawing a blank with, um, with, I should just look on her page here. I, I was going to pull it up so you guys could see it. Um, see more about Rose's info. Uh, da, 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 da. She's from, uh, Calgary, Alberta, Canada, and it's, mm, it, I'm, I'm drawing, Hildy Coleman, thank you, Cindy Runtree, what is her Facebook page, help me, help me, help me, I am not, it's, I have it, I like it, and I follow her, but I'm just, I'm technically drawing a blank, <laughs> I'll pull it up as soon as we hear what it is. So if you guys have any questions about that, just know this is a new thing that we're doing. Um, it's hopefully not going to go crazy. And like, I mean, in terms of like, hopefully there's not a lot of hiccups, right? So we've got a lot of things that we're churning in, in the bucket. And hopefully the adding this isn't going to make our bucket overflow with, right? So we're, we're going to give it a, a roll here. Mystery card night, you guys. Da -da -da! Mystery card night is January 16th. The day after the escape ends, I left um, a nice easy one, hopefully. We already have the design picked out. So you guys, as soon as I can get a moment, I will clear, share clue number one with you. Uh, be happy stampers. We don't have anything in January except for the big escape that we're going to be doing. A lot of us are going to be attending that. Um, there's going to be a team swap party uh, that is set for... Oh, I lied. The swap party is January 22nd. Um, at 3 p.m. So for those on my team, I have a, a team swap event and I need to share that. Um, well, the date's out there. It's January 22nd. I, what I do is I go into the team group, stamping with Rose. I, wanted, I thought I was creating with Rose. Okay. So it's st something that simple that I couldn't remember. Stamping. I, I looked up creating with Rose. Didn't find it. Stamping with Rose. Sorry, Rose. I forgot. All right. Stamping with Rose. We'll pull it up so you guys can see it. Um, perfect. 
All right, stamp it with rose. Um, thank you, Marsha Long. I appreciate it. Thanks, Cindy. I appreciate it. Thanks, Linda Kester and Linda Hunt. You guys are awesome. Um, so the team swap party, I'll create an event. I'll also send an email and you guys sign up for the sets that you want to work with. And so that's coming. Um, the I don't think there are any games and prizes for January. All right, let's talk about this little machine. Oh, here, let's flip this. I got this now. Stamping with Rose. And she has videos out here. So if you guys want to see what she's all about, an hour ago, it's a fun fold Friday. So she just did a live. And then here, check out today's cards. I can't wait to, oh man, I can't wait to show you. Here, uh, what I've got in store for you. See more, share a make sh milkshake bundle. So you guys here, stamp it with Rose. Thanks, Carissa. So she does these quick little videos and then puts them really fast and makes a card in a minute. Like this is a minute long. So another avenue for you guys to get more creative inspiration. I'm just watching her here. Isn't it fun? She does it so I have no idea how to do these fast, speedy videos like this. <laughs> See, I could learn something. You can always learn stuff, right? All right. So this is Rose Coleman. And she's stamping with Rose in case you want to get acquainted with her. All right. And she's using that share milkshake bundle. That is what she's featuring for the Technique Club. All right, perfect. So we got that. Now let's go back to this little guy. So on January 5th is when you can sign up. Um, anytime you can sign up, you guys, to be a demonstrator, discount shopper, shopper, hobbyist. But on January 5th is when a special starts. And there's the option to get this little boho blue um, stamp and cut and emboss mini machine. And it comes with these plates and the platform. Uh, and this is the same size as the question. Um, so Marsha Long, she told me that she mentioned it in her last video. Um, so she did a video on, I talked to her yesterday and she said she brought it up in one of her recent videos here. So uh, she, she is starting to do it. <laughs> so um, the blue guy is the same size as the white one. And the promotion is... Let's read it off to you guys because I don't want to read it wrong. And my catalogs are right here. So I can't show you guys the inside of the catalog, but I can read to you from it. It says joining. There are three options. This exclusive option one is the exclusive Boho Blue Mini Machine. It's a $63 value. It's yours uh, your plus your choice of $175 worth of product. And it's $129 to sign up. But you get $175 worth of product and this, okay? Option two is the white one. So this same size, the mini in white. Same dollar value, though. You get $175 worth of product for only $129. And then, oh, Sherry Stewart just got hers. Yay. Hello, I messaged you a question. Okay, Becky, sounds good. I'll look for it. Option three is, let's say you don't want this because you're already set, you're good. Um, you can pick $175 worth of product for $99. So basically, it's $30 for this. So they're giving you it at half price if you want it. Over half price off. So, okay, or over half price. So that is January 5th when celebration starts. So don't sign up on the 4th if you want that machine. So I know Carmen Sanders and Jean Terwilliger, you, are, uh, you guys are going to be my newbies. You're going to be my twinsies on January 5th, I think, if that's the day you guys both sign up. Okay, um, I don't know. I feel like that. I knew it was going to be an hour, you guys. <laughs> I didn't know exactly how long it would be. I don't know. Oh, man, I forgot two classes. <gasps> oh, you guys, I have two more classes I got to share with you. <laughs> They're not even on the calendar because these were the ad hoc classes that got added. I thought I was going to do them next week, but I didn't want to kill myself and do the kidding up. I didn't know how I would do it. So these classes are January 3rd and January 6th, okay? They are the Ring with Nature product-based class and the Fitting Florets product-based class. Uh, they are priced, uh, they're within $5 of each other. I think um, this one is uh, $50, uh, $60, $60. Um, it includes the pack of paper, designer series paper. You get two rolls of ribbon and the rustic metallic dots. It's six card designs, and you make two of each. And you do not really have to worry about anything except for sentiments. Navy, soft suede, sentiment, 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 sentiment. Here's the one where it's a poinsettia. You need 
if you don't have a point set of stamp, figure out something else in exchange. You know, you're going to get a little piece of white paper about the size of that, and you'll have to stamp something, hopefully. Um, or you could do something cool with the ribbon and the label that you get. And then the last one is this. So 12 cards, lots of products. Um, it's $60 or mailing is $73. People who did both of these classes together, I took $10 off the shipping and put $10 in your bag, depending on if you're where you're shipping to in the United States. If you were shipping a very, like for a lot far away, it, I think I might've done $5 because the shipping, I could either save five or $10 depending on where you are. So just know that if you got both of these classes, you should look for some cash back in your package, except for like Michelle Dadson. Um, I knew you were doing that. And we strategically, you sent me $10 less. So it was all good. Um, it features here the Ringed with Nature class. Oh, sorry, Ringed with Nature bundle. But again, I just used the sentiments from it. The inside is where I would have used some of the focal images. I have nine left of this, you guys. I just emailed about this today. I believe this morning an email went out about it. And so there, I think I have nine that I can accommodate. We kitted up nine more sets or we have nine more sets kitted up that weren't accounted for and I just gotta get the product then the fitting florets is the other one so this is five designs uh, don't forget the thumbs up thanks Cindy this is five designs let me go get the stamp set real quick uh, doing three cards of each one this one is a fun fold here so it's that easily card where we just did it like the vertical and here I love this fold like that easel card that way Blue, are you guys seeing all this blue 42? Blue 42. Let me go get the stamp set for this one really quick. This stamp set is available now to customers, but it's going to be in the spring mini catalog. And it's called Framed Florets. I used one focal image. It's this guy right here. Um, and colored it to match the blue. But it, just know that all these other flowers, these are die cuts, uh, not die cuts. They are from the designer series paper and I fussy cut them. There is one flower, right, like this, that if you don't have these, the stamp set, you could always put that flower in there and it's the same shape. So just know that that die does cut out that one. So you wouldn't have to fussy cut it. Uh, so sentiment in navy, soft succulent, navy, navy, navy. Some soft succulent splatters and blue splatters. Um, again, oh man, <laughs> this is what we kitted up on Wednesday. Diane, my mom and I, 1,300 cards because this was, we did 32 times 12 and this was 15 times 60. So I think I have 11 sets of this class left that are kitted up that, you know, ready to go except for, the, you know, having the product to order, wait to order the product. So you just got to, as soon as you RSVP, I can figure out when I can ship it to you. So the first round of shipping is done, you guys. Everybody who's signed up for it that I know of, you're ready for porch pickup or mailing except for there's five of you or six of you that were kitting up the launch party on Wednesday of next week. And I held back your packages because the launch party is actually before fitting florets. So I held back your packages and I can mail your launch party cards with them. And I will, you will be some of the first ones to get some shipping rebate coupons um, because you've probably already paid full price, which is the $24 for the launch party. I can do some shipping rebate coupons. You guys are going to be first ones to get some. So just know like Francis Rodriguez, um, like you're one of them. There's a couple other people I can't think of it off the top of my head, but there's like five of you that I looked ahead to see if you're getting the launch party and you are. So I'm like, well, let's ship together. So you guys, if I can save you some money on shipping, I do. Um, I hate shipping just as much as you hate shipping, but it's a necessary evil. So as, as much of it as we can save, we will. All right. So that's ring with nature. You guys, I've got some left. I've got some fitting florets, but again, that class, those classes are in two weeks. So as people see this video, they're probably going to sign up. So if you're on the fence, Get off that fence because it gives you splinters. They're such pretty cards. Uh, and you can see that. Can you see how much blue was in all this stuff? Oh my gosh. Blue, blue. Did anybody count how many blue cards were showcased during this video? That should be one of my questions, you guys. So Kelly is working on that graphic for me. It's going to say what a year it was or something along those lines. And then 
um, can you guess the following? And you guys, I'm going to be working on that in the next like 24 hours. I'm going to get them all scheduled for the rest of the year. All of the questions I was talking to you guys about in class last night. So good stuff. Good stuff. Yay. All right. This is the video that you want to share. Oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't do the drawing for a winner of the half off bundle from last night. I gotta write that down. We gotta do that yet. I'm not gonna do it now, uh, but I gotta make myself a note. Half off bundle. This is the video that I share it to the VIP group. And those in the VIP group that share this video and comment that they shared it, go into a drawing for a half off bundle. Um, it's usually the sweet bundle, but I might, I have some stocked up that I got because I had some half off items um, that I was able to get. So that's why I can give this a half off. I might let the winner pick uh, from my little vault that I have. Um, half off bundles of my prizes that I, I keep. Okay, I gotta pick a winner for it. Half off bundle winner. And then I'll reach out to them. Because I don't think I ever got the, the man one as the prize. Usually it's the sweet, but I didn't do that. So anyways, talking to myself, you guys. Huh, all right. We did good. All right. My phone is almost dead. I need to go charge it. My brother's here. Uh, I could hear him, I think. <laughs> so uh, we're gonna get working on that DSP sampler. You guys, don't hesitate to reach out uh, via email, text, or call me. Uh, Facebook message me if you have questions or need help. Just know also the Christmas is upon us. I am planning to have dinner and we open up gifts tonight at my mom and dad's house. And then we have with my grandma tomorrow. And then we have Christmas day on Sunday. So if I don't reply back to you, please don't send me another email. I promise I will get back to you when I can as time permits. Thanks for sharing Jennifer Jones. Um, early next week and I have my birthday dinner at noon on Monday uh, so it's going to be a full day a uh, weekend of not necessarily being at my phone or computer and I don't always like to reply to people until I have my sign up sheets or my stuff in front of me because I find that I miss things if I respond to your email or your text or your phone, you know to your message if I'm not by my sign up sheets when I'm doing it and then I miss signing people up so Please be patient with me over the next few days. If you're sending me emails, you don't have to send another one like in a day or two. Wait till at least like Tuesday uh, or even Wednesday or just give me a moment to get back to you because I do see everything that comes in. So yay, thanks for sharing everybody. Um, and Laura sent her order in, yay, <laughs> I appreciate it. So I probably have a bunch of messages now, but I won't even look at them because Tom and I are gonna go start cutting paper, yay. All right, I think we did it. If I forgot anything, I am sorry. Um, I don't think I did. There was a lot, you guys. January is going to be full steam ahead and action-packed and full of creativity and creating. So, all right, you guys, I'm going to let you go so that you can get on to whatever you're working on, which is probably getting ready for Christmas. <laughs> so lots of love and hugs and sunshine to you. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year to everybody. Uh, you probably won't see me live now, I'm guessing, until the Ring with Nature class or something like that, um, unless I do an impromptu. But you'll see Kelly on Thursday night. Uh, for Paper Pumpkin. Uh, so yay. Okay, you guys, I'm going to do my thing where I count to five because I watched last night that it cut me off at saying sunshine, love, and big hugs. And so I'm going to count to five and then hopefully by that time the video is actually done and we're good and not cutting anything off. So you guys, we'll see you later. Love you a long time. Bye. One, two, three, four.